Okay. We're moving on to our second uh, pen gas about quadrilaterals. This one's about the lambda quadrilateral, which was defined as a quadrilateral with three right angles. And uh, recall that the original intention of Lambert with this quadrilateral was to show that the parallel postulate follows from the other axioms. Uh, and therefore, um, his intention was to prove that this fourth angle was a right angle. Uh, as it turns out, since we assume the characteristic postulate of hyperbolic geometry instead of the parallel postulate, um, that it turns out not to be the case that this angle uh, is 90 degrees. Um, and in fact, there 9.9 .9 says that fourth angle must be acute. And the proof of this is actually really uh, kind of neat. What we're going to do is we're going to take a Lambert quadrilateral, as we have here, and we are going to reflect it, or we're going to extend the bottom and the top so that this side has the same length as this side, and this side has the same length as this side, and this side has the same length as this side, and so this is a right angle, this is a right angle, this is a right angle, and this angle here, of course, is the same as this angle, the fourth angle in the Lambert quadrilateral. And now what we have here, you may, re may recognize, is a Sakari quadrilateral. and the right half of which is a Lambert quadrilateral. And now theorem 9.8 says that the summit angles of our Sakari quadrilateral are acute and congruent to one another, which means that our fourth angle in the Lambert quadrilateral must be acute as well. And that's it.